Hey, how's it going, everyone? So I've been getting asked recently regarding my Planet Craft game gameplay is how did I get to the point I'm currently at now? So I'm at the point where I can breathe outside. I don't need oxygen uh, to carry around with me, etc. And people have been asking how many rockets have I sent up and all of that good stuff. So let's take a look. So the one thing they don't really have to pay an interest here is the insect spreader rocket as that got released in the loan automation update. But I have launched 7 seed spreader rockets, 6 asteroid attraction rockets, 14 magnetic field protection rockets, 11 planet plant rockets. Now, and obviously I've got the GPS satellites and stuff here. So that's what I've l used to get to this current point now. So the information is important for the seed spreader rocket as that to give me a 7000% increase in oxygen. And then the asteroid attraction rocket is 6,000%. And the magnetic field protection rocket, which is pressure, which is 14,000%. They're, they're the important ones you really want to be looking at there. But obviously, the other two play a, a pivotal role as well. But they are a little bit later game. So now I've used 10 miners throughout the game all the time. I'm in the process of grading them to the tier 5 miners though. So yeah, 10 miners for the pressure and the heat helps a lot so the more you have obviously the more it helps obviously you can use more you can use less but dep depends how quick you want to progress bear in mind at this point I'm, i've only actually played the game 75 hours and i'm at this point of the game now next up for generating pressure and heat i am using 10 drills but i'm upgrading to the tr5 at the minute i've still got some of the tr4 drills behind but i'd recommend using 10 drills this will help significantly for pressure and heat Mostly for pressure though. Early game, you want as many grass spreaders as pos possible for like biomass. So I would recommend getting rid of these though as it's more beneficial to use the Lerma in a, a seed spreader rocket later game. I've got 25 tier 3 tree spreaders now with the mushroom trees from the mushroom biome. So yeah, 25 is what I'm using which has got me to this point. So the next thing is the algae. This is something you're going to have really early game. This is all I've ever had. I think it's between five and six algae generators. That served me well. Uh, I've had these since the beginning of the game. Obviously, I've upgraded them to tier two. That you don't want to be going too crazy with them. So now I've only got four heaters, but I did have 10. Up until the law and automation update, I, I've used 10. But now I've got four because they just generate so much heat. It's absolutely nuts. So, yeah. Um, once you get the law and automation kind of stuff and you get the tier 5 heaters, use 4 or more or whatever. So next up is the insects and flowers. So I'd really recommend building butterfly farms. Obviously this is a tier 2 with the latest update, but uh, I'd recommend building tier 1s and tier 2s and just exploring around and you find good butterflies in caches around the uh, world. Uh, Plenty of flower spreaders help as well. I think I've got about eight in total. But yeah, I've, I'm using the golden flowers on my flower spreaders as they give it like an insane bonus. To the bees, I've got three to four beehives here. So these are the tier two, which can have the lava and the honey inside of them. So yeah, I had four of the tier ones. Now I've got four of the tier twos. Uh, I've actually got two butterfly biodomes as well. I've This is all I've ever needed as they're not as good as having a tier two butterfly farm outside, for example. But these are good early game and these will help significantly if you can put some good butterflies inside them. And on the opposite side here, I've got three tree biodomes. This is really helpful. This is just good for farming bark later game, basically, as they're not very useful uh, later game. But they just do look cool. If you ever want me to do a video on a, su a subject or a topic of a game I'm playing, let me know down in the comments and I will try and cover them as much detail as possible if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching. As always, leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I'll see you all in my next one.